Hey you guys, this is Mrs. O with Kingdom Barbecue Caterers, Kingdom Barbecue Catering Service and Kingdom Sweets Online. Uh, today is Monday and I thought about doing again a quick dish. I know everybody works and when they get off, they don't want to be in the kitchen long. So I'm going to do a chicken fried rice. And I'm going to try to really give you guys the ingredients uh, instead of just rushing through. Uh, the ingredients. Okay, number one here, I have a skillet and I'm going to put two tablespoons, but I'm using the low sodium uh, soy sauce. So if you don't want to use the low sodium, you can use the regular. Okay, let's put two in here because I want something to coat the bottom of my skillet. Okay, so that's the two tablespoons of low sodium salt and here I have three cups of rice that I want you to pour in the skillet where the soy sauce is at and then I'm just going to toss that around for a moment now I might have to add more soy sauce we'll just see I hope everyone had a great weekend you know, and they're ready to get the weekday over. Okay, so let's just stir this. All right. I'm going to add more soy sauce. Just right now, I needed something to coat my skillet and also get my rice hot. And to this, since I'm going to add a package seasoning, I wanted some moistness in there, so that is the reason I added the soy sauce. Okay, this is one 75 ounce of Sunbird stir fry seasoning mix. Uh, I like this because I don't have to combine all of the seasonings, so I just use this package. But always remember, whatever you're cooking with, whether it's Italian, Asian, or Southern, just uh, think about the flavors, like Asian, soy sauce, um, uh, sriracha, sriracha uh, chili paste, and all of that. So for Italian, just think about cumin and uh, garlic and, you know, I'm trying to give you all these seasons. Okay, now I'm going to mix this in. And I know everybody cook their rice differently. The stir fry rice, some cook it with beef, some cook it with shrimp, but we are going to do chicken. Okay, I'm stirring the sauce around, and I don't know if you can see, I don't have enough liquid. So this time, I'm going to add two more, just to see where I go with it. Okay, that's one. Two, let's do three. So that would be five tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. Now I'm gonna mix that up. Okay, there you go. I'm having enough moistness, moistness in it. So to this, I'm going to add, this time I use chicken tenders instead of chicken breast. So this is kind of a one pot meal also. Okay, this, I had eight tenders that I seared and put in the oven for about 20 minutes and I cut up. So let's put this in here. And I promise you, I wash my hands. So we're just gonna pile everything. So that was the eight tenders of chicken breast. I used six green onions that I chopped up finely, and I used two large Roman tomatoes. So let's just add that in there. I love tomatoes in my uh, chicken fried rice or any type of fried rice. Okay. Mike got the pot too little, huh? Maybe I should start with something bigger. Okay, let's see how this is going. And if you try it with the tomatoes, you're going to really like it. Okay. 
Now, the last thing I'm going to put in is scrambled eggs. I know some people might like scrambled eggs and some people might not, but we prefer scrambled eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna put the scrambled eggs in. Yeah, I got a large pot here. Okay, so that was five scrambled eggs that I put in here. Okay, let's give this a stir. I mean, it is really smelling awesome. And of course, as I always state, have to taste it. See if I got enough salt. See if there's, you know, do I need to add garlic? Do I need to add onion powder? Which I don't think I do because I have the green onions. Okay, let me, let's give this a taste. You see how quick that was? I mean, that was really quick. I would like scrambled eggs. You will. <laughs> That's my grandbaby. Oh, wow. Perfectly seasoned. I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll plate it for you guys. Stay connected. All right, you guys. For the chicken fried rice, this time I am using chicken tenders. And I am stirring the chicken tenders. And I'm going to put them in the oven probably for about 20 to 25 minutes. Probably 20 minutes since they're pretty thin. But these are the chicken tenders that I will be using for the chicken fried rice. Okay, you guys. I'm back with the finished product. Also, I'd like to say I needed to add a teaspoon of salt. And instead of five, uh, you would need seven tablespoons of soy sauce. And a teaspoon of garlic powder and it really brought out the flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this up and show you guys. And then I'm gonna show you the condiments that you can literally put on it. You see how hot and fresh it is? Wow. Okay, you see the eggs, the chicken, the green onions, and the soy rice, which is really flavored nicely. Okay, and to this, since my grandbaby is going to eat this, uh, the adults, you can add the chili garlic sauce to it uh, for your kids that don't like hot. You can add the sweet and sour, or you can add sriracha for a kick of that heat. So what I'm going to do I always like hot and spicy. So I'm going to do a little sriracha. And then I'm going to do a little sweet and sour. Not much. I don't like it too sweet. Okay. So here you have the chicken fried rice with sriracha and sweet and sour on it. And of course, let me give it a taste. The rice is really flaky. You know, it's not gummy, it's not sticking together. Mmm. Okay, for me, the sriracha made it too hot. My daughter likes spicy. It's too spicy for me. You should have mixed it. She said I should have mixed it, true. I just put it on top, but it's hot to me. But if you like sriracha, put it on top, mix it in there. You can even do the uh, chili garlic sauce and the sweet and sour. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a blessed week. And please stay connected.